Okay, it is another update uh, on my video blog and on my blog Discover Social Sciences. By the way, I have just discovered that I have been talking like for 15 minutes uh, to a microphone which wasn't recording what I say. Um, well, these are those <laughs> moments when I am just a little bit disappointed with myself and this is not the, re uh, the only reason I am a little bit disappointed with myself today, just a little bit. Uh, in this update on my blog Discover Social Sciences, which you can access by clicking the link in the description box below the video, you will find a development on a relatively simple mathematical method called mean reversion, which allows to put some order in personal investment strategy. When someone like me is a small individual investor in the stock market, it is good to have something like a psychological shield against uh, sudden jumps and bumps in stock prices. Yesterday I had a very intense day of short trade in the stock market, which by the way I am satisfied with, because that day of intense trade made me aware of a few things about me. It made me aware, uh, first of all, that I should over and over again expose myself to things that I think I suck at because I, I thought that I really suck at short-term investment, at short-term trade in the stock market. And yesterday I made some mistakes, but also, but also I had some successes. I had some successful, some successful transactions and the first moral of the yesterday's story is that uh, I can learn even and I can learn quite quickly good techniques for short trade. So in the today's update on my blog on Discover Social Sciences, I presented that simple method called mean reversion, which essentially allows to put some order uh, in a personal strategy of investment. The assumption is that my expected state of the market, so the state in which I can just sit back and contemplate my investments is a situation when the stock price uh, or, or when the price of stocks that I have in my portfolio stay relatively close to a moving average price calculated over the last 30 days of trade. If the price moves significantly away from that central state, it is a signal, it is a call for action. If the price moves down, like significantly below more than one standard deviation away, uh, down away from the moving average, it is a signal to buy. If the price, on the other hand, moves significantly up, so more than one standard deviation from the moving average, it is a signal to sell or to hold. If the price stays sort of close to that central band, to that moving average, it means that I sh shouldn't do anything, that I should rather uh, refrain myself from any quick reactions. So essentially mean reversion is a method which allows calming down a little bit one's nerves, calming down a little bit the nerves of an average individual investor and to gain some distance. It allows stepping back from the immediate emotions because when we see those variations of price in the stock market, when that variation of price regards our own portfolio of investment, we sometimes get nervous. I sometimes get nervous about those price swings. And this method allows to sort of divide between significant price swings and those rather insignificant ones. It allows to plan ahead uh, even those days when I want to go into intense short trade. Uh, with that method I can s sort of plan them ahead with at least a few days of notice so as I am prepared. Okay, so if you click on the link in the description box below the video, you go to the, bo to the body text or to the site of my scientific blog, Discover Social Sciences. So you go discoversocialsciences.com, you go to the blog called Discover Social Sciences, and there you will find, uh, you will find an update which bears the same title as this video. 
and this will be the detailed description, the body text that describes specifically step by step this method of mean reversion. Okay, that would be all for today. Thank you very much and have a nice late af afternoon uh, on that Thursday before Easter. Bye.